Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Kumar. How are you, Mace? Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this glorious day. Welcome, everyone, and happy Masturbation Month. So today is day three of Masturbation Month, and today we are starting with our sexuality talks on masturbation. So I want to just set some ground rules about um, the next month as we will be talking about masturbation, then talk about the position of the day and touch on the topic of self-care and how masturbation falls into that. So to begin, I just want to set some ground rules. You can ask as many, many questions as you want on here about the topic of masturbation. I will not answer anything that is about my personal practice. Right. Um, I may choose to share at any given point if we get there, um, but I will not answer questions if I don't feel comfortable with that. OK, so that is the, the, the rule of the game is ask as many questions as you can. Just be respectful. Right. We want to maintain respect um, here. I respect you guys. You guys respect me. I really appreciate that from you all. So. As it is Masturbation Month, I really want to step up and into us really expressing our sexuality and really enjoying the pleasure that this beautiful, amazing vehicle called our body gives us. Oh, thank you so much for sharing with your followers, Mace. And anyone else, click on the little Perry person to share with your followers. I appreciate hearts. Um, hearts do let me know that you are um, vibing with what I'm saying. So if you do vibe, um, go on and tap the screen and give me some hearts if you're vibing with this. Okay, great. Awesome. So many vibes coming through. Awesome. So let's get to the position of the day. And the position, obviously, um, I was a little late coming on because I couldn't find the position. I had found it before and I was like, oh, this is the position I want to start with. And um, you'll know why when you see the title of it, but this is called self-indulgence, right? So this is a position that can be done with a partner. So I show it here in that you can do it with a partner, but really this is um, probably the most common position for masturbation. So I'll leave that image up there for just another second so you can really see what's happening there. And that is our position for today, right? And it's all about this idea of self-indulgence, right? Um, and this is actually one of those areas that we're told, you know, you can't indulge in sex, right? And I know for myself, I grew up really in a conservative religious um, household and I was told that this behavior was unacceptable, right? That this was not um, appropriate to do in front of others, that masturbation was not even appropriate to do on my own. So there became for myself this, this underlying um, shunning that was happening, right? I was, I was repressing my own sexuality and when I did express it, I kept it a secret, right? So I, I always associated psychologically that there was something wrong when I was expressing my sexuality, that I was doing something bad. And I know that this is how a lot of us are brought up, right? Because we see all the sex in the media and we think that we're such a progressive culture yet we are actually sexually repressed as a whole so today on this magnificent third day of the month celebrating masturbation i want to bring this up because i want us to not only go into the pleasure of it of what masturbation can really be but also to think about how 
our upbringing has really impacted us and how it's still impacting the way we express our sexuality. Strict Latin families, I grew up the same way. Yes, the Latino culture is very um, drastic when it, with how they see um, sexuality, right? It's like you either always talking about it or you're the opposite, never talking about it. And even if you're always talking about it, it doesn't mean that you're doing it, right? Um, and that was one of the things that I came up in my upbringing is that I grew up with these really religious grandparents. And then my mom was more free-flowing about talking about sex. But she wasn't necessarily willing to talk about it with me. And she still had all of these expectations. So until I, you know, and even after I, lo I had lost, you know, quote unquote, lost my virginity, my mother had this, this belief that she wanted me to get married a virgin. And for many, many years, I was like, that was like my, my mission in life was I need to fulfill this dream for my mother. Right? But God forbid if she found out that I was masturbating. Right? So I know that a lot of us grow up this way. We're, we're getting mixed messages. Like one parent might be saying one thing, another parent is saying another, or they're doing one thing and saying another. Um, and then we have the media, right? And our, and our friends and, and the environment that we're growing up in, that's also impacting how we see things and how we see sexuality. I don't know how many of you got a sex education. I, I'm curious to know in school or from your parents, what was the extent of that education? Did it include masturbation? Right? Because often what I've seen, how does she feel now with you doing these scopes or does she not know? So now my mother knows and she's... Um, She's still conservative in some ways, um, but she's opened up a lot, especially around sexual orientation and um, self-expression of that. Um, she's definitely seen a different way to see this um, through my eyes. Struggle at times, but she's a lot more open about <laughs> Yeah, she tells everyone I'm a sexologist. Um, you know, that's how she's a sexologist um, in the family. So, I know we grow up with these beliefs. And I know that there's a way. I know you're telling me bad connection. I'm seeing it kind of intermittently go in and out. Um, so, I hope that the recording. Um, but one of the things I want is the way that you see master. Really evaluate Am I seeing this as an act of self-connection and self-expression and pleasure? Is it something other than that? Right? What is it? I don't want to put words in, into your head. Um, but what? Ask yourself that. That is the homework for today. That is, you know, um, the message for today. I'm going to leave it there. And I will see you back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. for our bye.